Hello, uh, welcome to my video today. My name is Corey Heisey. I'm from Canada. I'm living in Germany right now, studying my master's in uh, mechatronics and cyber physical systems. So, uh, today I'm going to talk about um, my life in Germany so far, kind of getting here, and um, what it's like so far. So, I had to get a test when I, I was able to get a test when I arrived, instead of before I left. And then, um, and I, I have a German citizenship, I have a German passport, which is obviously um, makes it a lot easier for me. But fellow students, you can get your student visa and, and then you can come. And they actually, like in the airline, when you check in, they make sure you have your visa. So I had to show my German passport. And now you have to get a test um, before you leave. You have to show the airline no matter where you come from, even if it's um, somewhere with low cases. So that's new rules. I, I missed that, which is nice, because I, I wanted to um, make sure I got a test. Because it's like you have to have um, the swab within 48 hours before you arrive. So you have to do it like the day, bef the day of, basically, because it took like 33 hours to get here. Um, so, and then in Canada, I don't think you can get the results that fast. Like, I wouldn't have it ready for, to show the airline um, when I'm leaving. And then, or show the results to the, to the government, to the authorities, whatever, within 48 hours after, after you arrive. And the, in Frankfurt, I bought um, a 24-hour test, PCR test for uh, 78 euros. It was 69 euros, but you could add like, they would verify your identity for an extra nine euros. I didn't know if I needed that for the for, for it, so I just got it. So it could have been cheaper maybe, but. And then I got the test result before I even got to Degendorf. So I was in Frankfurt trained and I got the test result just on my email. Um, and I thought I wanted to get the German test instead of them being like, oh, I don't know this Canadian test, but anyways. So I did it, I was able to get it when I landed here, but now you have to do it before you leave. And then the 10 day quarantine, um, I didn't have a bed or internet for the first few days, so that was pretty tough. And then once I got bed and internet, then that was better. And then, but it, then, so that was okay. And then afterwards I got that, I was fine. I was pretty good. And then be, the, the, like the second there, the last third, I was starting to feel I just needed more like exercise. I needed to go for a walk. I, I felt quite, um, I was starting to feel more um, tougher being in quarantine. Like I said, at first it was just like no internet, no bed, and then it was good, it was, this is fine. And then it was like, hey, I wanna get out for a walk. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so in, but in Germany right now, um, the bars and restaurants are definitely closed, even outdoor seating. And they loosened a few restrictions, but then the cases went up again. So they're trying, they, there's people saying we want to close, we want to tighten up again. But the weather's been really nice, so it's people are out biking and hike, or out biking and um, walking and uh, running and sitting by the river. So it's I wanted to say I was there today, and um, it feels like. Night, like it feels normal in the sense of it doesn't feel normal, but it is nice that people can uh, interact and um, and uh, and have some fun because it's just outside and you can drink in public, so you just drink beers at the park, which is great. And who needs the bar, anyways, right? So, um, especially in the summer, so that's what um, and uh. And you have to wear like FFP2 masks, so like N95 ones, in the public places, so like in government buildings or uh, uh, grocery stores or anything. So that's a bit different. And um, yeah, so today though, I was like at the, at the park by the river, and normally I would just go and talk to someone, like, hey, can I? Do you mind if I join you guys? And most of the time it's it's fine. And then you can usually have a good time talking to them. But I didn't want to do that because 
they might be like, well, we don't know you. Okay, I could sit two meters apart, but it's just, it's just like, well, I don't really want to talk to a stranger. Like, you know, I'm thinking the same thing. They wouldn't want that anyways, because, like, you know, and then one reason is, you, um, your contacts. So if anything happened, or if anyone got had it, you'd have to be, oh, who, is, who are your contact with? Oh, I don't, I hung out with a bunch of people by the river, and I don't even know them, which is a problem in in trying to contact trace, and then. I guess you could just sit two meters apart in the park, or whatever, and it's not that big a deal. And people are probably fine with that, but I mean, it just feels weird because normally I'd just be like, hey, you know, meet people a lot easier. Um, uh, but yeah, the weather's getting nice, which is great. And uh, so that's pretty nice, pretty exciting, pretty exciting. And not too much else to report on uh, living in Germany. It's, I really like living here. Um, I like the culture, I like everything about it, to be honest, and um, so I'm having a beer, and yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool, that's for sure, and uh, yeah, and I guess that'll be it for today, and until next time, bye for now.